I want to discuss a subtle detail in passing. You're going to be watching the top defenseman on the power play, top guy of the umbrella, usually the quarterback on the power play, and just their body position when they're passing. So the first example here is Clefbaum. Um, what he generally does is surrounds the puck. He has to stop it and surround it before he makes a pass. I think he's improved on it in the last little bit here. I've seen him he's more efficient at moving the puck from that position and he's getting some results. So the thing this is a good example of it. So it's a four on three here, which is, you know, a little different than, than a five on four, but still the the skill doesn't change so this is a good example of it where he catches the puck and moves it his toes stay facing the net and he just makes adjustments with his upper body and touches the puck over to that one timer rather than having to surround it so right here you can see he just feet stay pointing towards the net and he moves his shoulders and squares his blade so the blade is pointing in that direction and he doesn't have to doesn't have to surround it. So the next example shows the def the common deficiency that he usually does. So it's not the greatest video. He just comes into the picture here, but you can see how he's surrounded the puck with his skates, which is very different than the the last clip where he just uses his upper body to separate from lower body and move that puck. So what happens here? What the problem is with this is everybody knows where the puck is going. You can see everybody's eyes and the one way around this and most teams are doing it now is letting players use the back pass so being able to pass on the backhand back to here is about the only way that you can get around this but when you've surrounded with your body like this everybody knows the puck is going that way unless you actually do the back pass down to here but he generally surrounds to pass the puck over to that side and doesn't utilize the behind the back or the, the backhand pass on this. So, you know, everybody's over and set. And the shot, a couple stick handles on the shot, so not a really good threatening opportunity. One of the best guys at it is Carlson in Washington being able to just pop pucks into areas without even handling them. So that one's a really good example. You wonder why Ovechkin scores so many goals from the same place is because generally Carlson is good enough when he gets that puck he's got options here he's got options here and he's got options here and he's also a shooter so without having to surround the puck and turn his skates keeping his skates pointed up ice towards the net is key in this because you know as you can see these guys aren't turning like in the last clip where everybody's getting over to block that shot lane just a really quick touch pass to an area and Ovechkin on a tee it's loaded and Carlson his eyes are very deceptive too in this one he's looking right at the net everybody's thinking shot and then just adjust his shoulders and top hand to make a pass across so deceptive passing, quick one-touch passing, something definitely to put into practices and to have kids work on and, you know, use the concept throughout practice too because it's, it's a really important one for players that, that want to move on and, and reach their potential.